Oh, just stuff it. Bell peppers, I mean. I love to grow bell peppers every summer in my garden and I love to cook and bake with them. Let me share with you our most two favorite stuffed bell peppers recipes. Trust me, you don't want to miss trying these. But wait, I have a confession. The second classic recipe that you don't want to miss trying, that was filmed way back in 2016 during vlogmas yeah i said it 2016 vlogmas video <laughs> i dug it up because it's a classic but they were so good i forgot to film the end result so so i had to go back and film the end result for you so you might see a slight difference in quantity but the recipe remains the same let the cooking with d begin First recipe is a simple one. It's called the Philly Stuffed Bell Peppers. And in this recipe, it's going to call for three green bell peppers, one onion chopped, one package of sliced mushrooms, one pound of roast beef cut into strips, two cloves of garlic, one tablespoon of olive oil, and some mozzarella cheese. After washing your bell peppers, you're going to cut them in half and take out the core and the seeds from the middle. I recently discovered this hack of actually cooking your bell peppers in the microwave. To do this, you're just going to pour a little bit of water in each of the bell peppers, usually about a half a cup for about three bell peppers. So you're going to evenly put the water inside the bell peppers. Tightly wrap them up with some plastic wrap and boom, place them in the microwave for about five minutes and they will be completely and fully cooked. That simple. Meanwhile, dice up your onion. I had a huge onion, so I used only half of it here. One package of sliced mushrooms would be convenient, but as you can see, I need to slice these up. Two cloves of garlic, minced. Our bell peppers are done in the microwave. Now it's time to heat up our non-stick pan and add about one tablespoon of olive oil. Pour in the diced onions, minced garlic, and let that saute for just about a minute or two. Afterwards, you're going to add in your mushrooms. This would be a great time to add a pinch of salt or pepper to taste. To make this recipe super easy, I just used the sliced roast beef sandwich meat from Hillshire Farms. I mean, it was super easy, it just very convenient, and hey, it works every single time. I cut those into strips and will add it to the pan mixture. Let the roast beef heat through 
And oh man, if you can smell this, mm, it smells great. Let the bell peppers cool down enough to drain the water out. Time to start stuffing the bell peppers. Get the mozzarella cheese and whatever kind of cheese you enjoy or have in your fridge will work. I like to start with filling them with cheese, then the meat mixture, and then more cheese. Because hey, we like cheese, we're cheesy people. No, I'm just kidding. But do whatever you do, you know, do you man. <laughs> this recipe is super simple. I even have my mom help me, Queen G. This is perfect for her. I mean, it's just, you can even make this as a casserole if you don't want it to be in the green bell pepper shells per se. You can easily dice those up and do it like a casserole and do it in different layers. Whatever works, man. This has been one of our family favorites. And honestly, this is my go-to easy, convenient type of dinner to make on those busy days. You know what I mean? <laughs> Once the bell peppers are all stuffed the way you like them, then place them into a preheated 350 degree oven for 40 minutes or until the peppers are soft. Oh, this looks good. It looks good. It smells good. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Those look really good. Now, on to my next easy stuffed bell pepper recipe. More of the traditional stuffing. I have five bell peppers. I just cut off the tops and then what I can, I chopped the tops up in really small little fine pieces that we're gonna add to our ground beef. Right now I'm just going to boil for about two to three minutes and then get them underneath cold water and then set them to dry. This was how I used to cook the bell peppers before I found out the way to do it in the microwave. I'm using ground beef. You can use whatever type of ground meat that you like. I have almost, well I have 1.4 pounds of this. I brown this up. It's small little medium sized zucchini and I chopped it up in like really small little pieces. I have one medium white onion diced and then I have garlic clove that is minced. We're gonna add that to this which we're gonna add to our ground beef. Add everything to your ground beef and then you are going to just kind of cook it until it gets all tender. It has the garlic, onions, zucchini, and green bell pepper with the brown ground beef. A half a cup of long grain rice uncooked. And we are just going to sprinkle one can of diced tomatoes. Some basil, about, maybe about a teaspoon or so. Some salt. Some pepper. It's totally up to what you want. You can always add this in. Go. 
Okay, it kind of mixed it around, smelling so amazing. And then now you're just gonna put it down to a nice simmer. You're gonna cover and you're gonna let this simmer for a good like 20, 25 minutes or so. And then lastly, stuff the peppers, either in the bell peppers, and if you have extra meat mixture, scatter it around the peppers. Then you're gonna add any kind of cheese you like on top. Yum! Cover and place into a preheated 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. And that's it, voila. I hope you give it a try. Let me know in the comments if you do. Thanks for watching.